Hi Unique, this video is about my journey with my daughter with autism. So I think I've done bits and pieces of what happened. I never did a complete journey up until she is four, which she will be four pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. So anyways, I'm going to start with, we were going to the regular doctor's appointments and I was getting this, I had this app about like what your kid should be doing at this and that time. Well, I was complaining that my child wasn't meeting her milestones and that she wasn't talking and because I went through a couple of job changes, my insurance changed and I had to pick a different doctor. And I ultimately was so busy, I just picked whatever and I really didn't like this woman. She was kind of cold, she was kind of rushing me, you know, it was a community, um, medical center which was convenient but I wish I had picked somewhere else um but anyways every time I complained she kept saying well it's a big range it's a long range and she really wasn't taking my concerns seriously until me and her legitimately had it out and I called early intervention Ava was like 16 17 months so she had early intervention and they were like we're glad you called us clearly she needs help she like failed com communication and early intervention was in my home for about a year don't touch that's Ava so early intervention was in my home for about a year and a half because you know they're done at three um, then, in early intervention, we had a speech, a delayed therapist, I keep looking over here, we had a speech, a delayed therapist, um, an occupational therapist, um, Ava could walk, she actually walked on time, but she was unsteady, and they said she had low muscle tone, and she had an issue walking downstairs, so, and, you know, once she was, once this happened, I got a new pediatrician, and she made me, um, do this questionnaire which is important if you think your child might have autism and um, Ava couldn't do most of the things on this questionnaire so she said I'm not saying your child has autism but they need to be she needs to be tested so we go to the developmental pediatrician and within 20 minutes she's like oh yeah she has autism but she put her as moderate uh, moderate because of a severe language delay, um, she wasn't talking and she's still not talking. But she said she put her as mild. She would be mild if she was functionally talking, which means a lot, you know, and I'm really like trying to legit get her to functionally talking. So the next step was preschool. I went through all the IEP testing, which I kind of felt were like a joke, you know, like a couple of them I wasn't in the room like one came to my house when I wasn't home one they kind of took her to the side but I didn't feel like they were offering my daughter enough services in this time frame I was at going to like autism events um, I met a woman who owned a nonprofit that I'm a part of now and then she introduced me to another woman who changed my life Hey A, I'm gonna say A, her name starts with the A, but she changed my life. She told me about everything, and then my daughter ended up in an autism center that her daughter goes to, which I'm extremely happy about because I feel like Ava has been progressing. It's just been very slow, but I feel like we probably wouldn't even have got this much progression in a Boston public school. I'm just not convinced. Now, my life has totally transformed. I'm an advocate for my child in every way and that means even though I love the autism center I will still say what I have to say and see where things go um, I am a little disheartened because my child's progressing slow like she's supposed to be four years old and she's nowhere near where a four-year-old would be which is kind of difficult and I feel like only other autism parents understand where I'm coming from which limits um, my social calendar it even limits it even more because I'm a single mother by choice with a disabled child because autism is considered a disability and there's a lot that goes into it there's a lot that goes into her and the thing that kills me 
Um, it, this is like the first to second generation of um, early intervention before this guy told me that if you diagnose a, a child under four or five with autism they kind of laugh you at the office so Ava's been diagnosed since she was two so I'm hoping with all these pre you know with all this early intervention that eventually she will catch up to her peers which is no guarantees whatsoever all I can do is stay faithful you know and hope that happens um the thing about autism is you have no idea nobody really has any idea regardless if your child's talking or not because from what I heard Auti um, Temple Grandin didn't really talk until she was four um, is this this child's gonna be a genius at MIT or are they gonna need services for the rest of their lives like you know I have no idea what Ava is on that scale I guess there's a test called a neuropsych that could help me more or less gauge her intelligence level but for me the neuropsych won't change what we're doing right now so I'm not geek to get it because it costs a lot of money and your health insurance is not going to pay for this test over and over again hence when she's ready for school I'd rather do the test then or closer to then because then the information can be used in a more productive and active way and be more current right now um I asked the autism center with this information would you change anything and they said no they wouldn't change any protocols or what they're doing so I don't see the point of doing the neuropsych test at this point but I feel like we are definitely clicking off everything in the autism bucket you know we have seizures check we're nonverbal check you know um, there's a lot that goes into having a nonverbal child and I'm going to do a video about that um, either way, my journey has been hard, stressful, I've gained 50 pounds, just because when it comes to your child, how can you not feel it deeply? Like, I feel it so deeply about my child, um, the child I prayed for and wanted so bad. I just want her to be successful in life, and you know what, that, what I envisioned just might be different. It might be a different version of success hit that notification button if you want some more um, of Boston Girl TV. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.